Jacob. What are we here to do, Jacob? Are we installing a doorbell? Yeah. Where, whose house are we at? Um, Uncle Cap's house. Yeah. The story I heard, and hopefully this is true, I'm not <laughs> lying, is that there, there were guys from Apple and so forth, and Google, I think, and they wanted to make products that were much cheaper um, and still high quality. This seems pretty slick. This looks slick. Um, I'm trying to think of the, the advantages that I was thinking of. One is there's no subscription service. Yes. It's local. But yes. it still will notify you on the Eufy app. This must be universal for different countries. Yeah. So you can just pack it up for whatever country you're in. 100 to 240 volts. This is purely just a doorbell, right? Yeah. Just the speaker. And I guess it's wireless, which is cool because you can put it anywhere in the house. Right. And one, so, one thing with these things that's been interesting is the people that want it, it's all two point, a lot of it's 2.4 gigahertz. If you see 2.4 as being good or bad? Both. I mean, it's, it's longer range. It's than the good because it's longer range, but if you're on a very crowded area, like it's apartment complexes, apartment complexes, which like most cities, yeah, it's it's useless. I don't know. I know that um, I just purchased one of the the the, the Eufy 30C vacuum cleaner, mm -hmm. and it only works on 2.4 gigahertz. So it's very possible. I don't know. Maybe it's the radios. It's very possible that the radio is 2.4 only. So, I mean, the basics are that we're going to jumper, we're going to pull apart the indoor doorbell, the current doorbell, yeah. and jumper the terminal so that we get like a, was it 24 volts AC outside? Mm -hmm. And then that will be used as a permanent voltage, because usually it just has voltage when you hit the button outside. Oh, gotcha. And then voltage is sent to ring the doorbell inside. So if, if, they, if you sort the terminals, get you 20, I think it's like 24 volts AC outside. And then that'll use, be used to power the Eufy camera all the time. So that indoor transformer will be used to power the camera. Then you'll no longer have the normal doorbell, which is why you need the new plug-in doorbell. I want you to kill the power, mm. which is a good thing, but also means I gotta find out what circuit it's on. Hey Jacob, can you grab this for me? Can you just set it on the floor? Oh, thanks. Here we are at the doorbell, checking to see if it's got power. Old school method. Hey, ring that doorbell. All right. We still have doorbell. Do you have an idea of which one it is, or are we just going through the panel? Taking best guesses. Sounds like what I would do. How about now? Yes, the people inside were alerted that I was ringing the doorbell. I think we're dead. They found it. Sweet. Step three. Mm -hmm. All right, sweet. So we're gonna find the doorbell chime. They're even labeled. Transformer in front. Dude, this this couldn't be easier. <laughs> yeah, that's all you gotta do. Jump with those two. Jesus. Those two terminals. Yeah. No. Do we need to check and make sure we're getting the right amount of power? Maybe that comes up in a second. Instructions. It seems like when I read up on the ring stuff, there's a certain amount of power you need. Really All right, simple. cool. Now we're just going to remove the existing doorbell, pull the wires out carefully. Aw, oh, snappish. Is it stripped or not? No, I just, this is, the that screwdriver is way too big for it. So, smaller screwdriver. Yeah, which I've got one in the garage, but that requires me to walk. Or just push harder. All right. Explain to me this. Why would you put flat head on the outside and fills on the inside. So the question is, hopefully the holes line up, right? Yeah. That would be kind of cool. If not, we're getting a hammer drill out. All right. So my holes are uh, not far enough apart. For now, we're just going to keep going. Um, one screw will hold it. One screw will hold it for now, because I probably will move it, depending on the angle I can get. I may have to move it anyways, which means drilling out motor, mortar and putting in mortar, blah, 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 blah. So Does this actually this have the little, um, Stepper to make it to make yes. the camera angle out. This is actually kind of oh, cool. Oh, is that the step seven? So, because this doorbell is over on the left hand side, so you really want to point it out towards the people. And this probably isn't going to point it enough, but this is going to attach like so. Boom. There you go. Nice. Pickle <laughs> works. That might be. That might suck. It's going to require some 
fair pressure. Uh, it's some fair pressure. That's good. And then I guess if it was on the wall, you could pull you out. You prefer right? that somebody can't just walk up and grab your doorbell. True. That's one thing I'm wondering about is like I think Ring offers like a. They do like a, a warranty, right? A They'll warranty if someone you steals it. One if someone steals yours. And the reality is, I mean, what are you gonna do with this stolen doorbell? What do you got there, Jacob? was this doorbell? This one cost me a little over a hundred. I think it's like a hundred and ten. Um, but I think that was because I had, discount, right? I had a, like 40 bucks off. It was 50. Ooh, nice. I think it was 50 off. So I, mean, I might be including tax on my final bill. Um, but so it's probably a hundred and fifty dollar doorbell. Yeah, hundred fifty dollars. Which seems pretty reasonable. It's very reasonable. This is totally what I've been looking for. So now, yeah, I thought you go turn the power on. I think so, but let's be real men here and let's go read the manual, because that's what men do, right? No, okay. Turn the power on? Turn the power on. Wait for the, the orange ring of light. <gasps> was orange yes. supposed to go for? Was orange or is it yellow? The changing ring of color. So I've got the app open here. So here we go. Add device. Home base entry sensor. Well, they're just in the full system now, huh? So the instructions are on the app. Long press the doorbell's button for five seconds. One, two. <gasps> now it is connecting to Wi-Fi. Can I remember my Wi-Fi password? Does he remember? Does he remember? <gasps> Different status. Want want something. Doorbell right. won a prize. Um, so now we need to install the doorbell chime. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to hit sync. Hit okay, sync? Yeah, press, press and hold the chime sync button for two seconds. It'll flash blue. It's flashing blue. Ding. Check chime is sexually paired with doorbell. The lights will turn to aesthetic blue and you will hear another ding if the device. Okay, so we'll see if the door. I think it dinged and paired. See if the door had a blue. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me it was that easy. We, it worked. That was easy. So we're gonna, now we're gonna update firmware. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta do that. You gotta update your firmware. Some doorbells installed. It is. It is installed. And it works. We've tested it. We did. I realize you guys were left out, but we tested it. Because we got really excited and we forgot to the cameras on. Right. So um, which way should we do this? You wanna do Well, it? you wanna jump off Wi Fi, right? Yeah. Because that's what everyone really wants to know. That's true. It worked really well on Wi-Fi, but we are It did. It worked well on Wi-Fi. We so, were able to talk to each other. So we're going to see how well this works from LTE. So here we go. Ring, ring. Hey, man. What are you doing at my door? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just chilling. Can you see me at all? Yeah, I totally can see you. All right, so obviously I'm kind of crouched down here and I've got my big old camera here, but if I stand up like a normal person, a normal 6-1 person. I'm in the middle of the doorway here. And you can see where the doorbell's at. It's not yeah. really an optimal location. When you were a little closer, your head cut off. But I think it's... It could totally move it up if we had to, but... So, I mean, if I'm, like, leaning over here against the wall waiting for the doorbell to be answered, all you can tell is that there's some elbow at the door, right? Yep, that's very true. All right. But, I mean, I wouldn't think most people would do that. They're sitting over here waiting for someone to answer. So yeah, so this thing's on 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. You're on LTE. It's uh, it's working just fine. Um, my head's not chopped off, and I'm six one, and this thing's at like, what a four foot height, maybe three and a half, for the doorbell. Yeah, it's pretty low. So there are definitely more optimal locations for it, but it it works well for, for where it's at. I'm 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 impressed. I want one. Can I have one? <laughs> so
So yes, I'm very impressed. That was awesome. Um, but the sure. I did have some audio cutting in and out. Um, oh really? Yeah, just a little bit sometimes here and there. Well, I mean, ideally, normally you would be at the house if you really care about talking to somebody. Right. I say sure. that. I mean, on both sides. If you're talking I mean, to the UPS for guy. Us, for us, it is, because I have a baby, and we don't necessarily answer the door all the time. Right. So, And I'm probably going to use a lot of the features of the automatic responses, because we can set on this, oh, you can you set can up some that? automatic responses on it, and just hit just hit those responses, and it tells them what to do. Leave um, the package under the bench. Right. Things like that. I don't know how much we're going to be talking to people on the door, for us, yeah. personally. Um, but I think for 100 bucks or $150, it's totally worth it. I mean... And there's no... I wonder how the service works. How does it reach out over LTE to you? Does it use, I imagine it's using the UFI service. It is using it because it's using their app, which is their security service app. Yeah. So I guess. So it is going it. to the cloud, but it's not it's storing the, the, the it's not storing the data going. there. So if they go out of business, that's a bad thing. But yeah. this is Anchor. I mean, they've been around for quite a while Yeah, now. so at least it's not a, a like, <laughs> looking for robot vacuum cleaners. I don't know if you've ever browsed Amazon for that. <laughs> If you just search for robot vacuum cleaner, sort it by price, lowest to highest, <laughs> and there are probably 40 different brands in the 140 to 160 dollar range for a robot vacuum cleaner. Okay. And in reality, that's probably only like three different models. Yeah. Even if they look different. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, this is a it's a it's a reputable company, so they're probably not very, about to go out of business. Very, and I've been very happy with a lot of their stuff. I'm actually probably gonna get their Rove, uh, the Rovi. It's the Rovi or the Rove uh, camera for the car. The is it camera. a dash cam? They have a dash cam with a front and a rear camera. It doesn't have the Wi-Fi app I was looking at the day. But at some point here in the next six months, I want to get a couple of those for our cars. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm happy with the camera. I'm gonna, kind of excited to get it out and play with it. I set up, see how I'm going to get my wife's phone set up to it now. Yep. Uh, I'm hoping there's accounts or something so we're not sharing the same username and password. Right. I don't know. Curious well, okay, so I know that on the RoboVac that you so can like add family. people to your account so, so that, that they create we can each account, have our own account yeah. but the vacuum cleaners on both of our accounts so i'm sure it's the same way with i'm sure it's the same way yeah so you should be fine so i'm excited about that i'm also curious if you'll actually use the chime i i, I want to dig into the settings and find out if i can turn it down yeah. i wouldn't mind turning it down really low to where it's just a something soft yeah because we have a little bit little one we don't want to wake up yeah and, and so. i mean i suppose you could always do like Install it in the garage or something if there's a place where you yeah. wouldn't always I'm have your phone. I'm a little concerned about the one outside, how loud it is, because that's pretty loud. Oh, and you mean when I hit the doorbell outside mm -hmm. and it makes a noise? Yeah. Because the dog, because I guess the, the thing is the dog knowing that someone's there. Right. Dogs it's are a dog pretty, already kind of knows anyways, too. So yeah, the the but a noise doesn't time. help. But yeah, but ringing the doorbell isn't going to help. So, uh, But those are the things I'm going to play with right quick. So, yeah. That sounds like fun. You can let me know how it goes. Maybe I can get one for myself. And go order one. Quit your order, can't you? Or is they? Well, when I checked, Amazon was still out of stock, and they didn't have a. No, I think I did. I think I put a thing in that said, "Let, you let know. me know when it, uh, it's available." So um, they must have sold out of the I was uh, initial stock. I'm happy I got mine. I'm, I yeah, was, for sure. And I'm, I'm surprised how fast I. Was. <laughs> so here I am. I'll upload a video about how great the thing is, and my house still doesn't have one. <laughs> but he does. But who who goes to your front door? Well, and that's the thing, too. Maybe we need two. You need two. That would be kind of sad. I wonder how they can work with two. I mean, that would... Oh, that would be interesting to know. I wonder if you could put two they, on. How they work two on the same network. Might when I get mine, maybe I should bring it over here and try it on yeah. your account. Yeah, set see up on your my account, see how it works, put it on the back door. Um, my front door would be helpful because we do get packages there. Yeah. And part of it's just knowing who comes to your door. Yeah. Because it's probably going to be one of those things where you, you don't know the people that are coming to your door. And you're like, I don't know how many people yeah. came to my door during the day. Well, it might be good others to get together in like a week or so and talk. Or maybe when I get back from my trip. Yeah. So I, kind of see, I can let you, you know what my experience is from, I'm going to be in Florida or in Texas. I'll be in Florida for a whole week. Yeah. And I'll get an idea of what it's like people coming to the door and so forth. Yeah. Because I need to set up the zones too now because it's facial recognition. We have cats that walk uh, by yeah. a whole lot. And that's, it's supposed to not detect supposed animals, not, right? Yeah. Which I'm really So I'm about. really curious too about wasps. My that's Unify what it sets off. Yes, my my Unify, Unify camera goes off all the bugs. time because there are wasps flying around the eaves of our house. Mm hmm Yes. So. That's what it was. I was wondering if, if it, I was thinking about the bugs. Because well, we got bugs and, because I set a Unify camera up at the front door and I set the motion sensor up on it and just to get like a cheap version of the camera before this came out 
literally a week before this thing. Yeah, you were working out like a week before. <laughs> it was weird. We were doing stuff so. in the backyard when we walked to the front yard. Caleb would get a text <laughs> on his phone. Oh, Her yeah. Alert. I know. It's like, so, oh, yep, they're so coming with more dirt. How that, how that sensor works differently than the Unifies do. Um, I am very much a Unify fanboy. Um, but this is more doorbell yeah, application wise. So. Yeah. So we'll okay. do a talk in a week or so. Yeah. Yeah, I guess this is it. I was signing off. I don't know. <laughs>